The surge in COVID-19 cases across the U.S. has 16 states pausing or rolling back their reopening plans. Heading into the 4th of July celebrations, several states have set new records for daily confirmed cases. Arizona, Florida and Texas have all been labeled as new hotspots. They're among the states that have delayed reopening indoor dining rooms. And in California, Florida and Texas, bars have been ordered to shut down again. Officials want to avoid a repeat of the crowding at bars and beach parties that happened over the Memorial Day weekend in May. As I mentioned, Texas, one of the places with the greatest concerns ahead of the big holiday weekend. Houston, the largest city in the state and the fourth largest in the country by population. Joining me now from the city is CNN's Lucy Kafanoff. Lucy, Lucy, thanks for joining us. What is the latest there? Well, John, the numbers here in Texas have been trending in the wrong direction, both in terms of new coronavirus cases as well as hospitalizations. And now we're seeing younger people getting sick, folks in their 20s, 30s and 40s. The mortality rate does remain relatively stable, but the Houston mayor yesterday warning that the number of people affected by this disease is growing exponentially. And the big concern is pressure that this is putting on hospitals. We're in front of a testing facility right now. There have been lines around the corner for miles, for hours even before the testing site opened. Another concern is ICUs, intensive care unit beds. Some of the hospitals here in Houston are at capacity. Officials say that they have enough space for now, but the more people that get sick, the more it ties up local resources, and that's when you start seeing mortality rates go up. I mean, we want to avoid the kind of situation that we saw in Italy, for example, where there was just so many people getting sick that hospitals simply couldn't keep up with the demand. Now, the governor here in Texas did uh, push aggressively to reopen the state early on. He's been forced to dial back some of those measures. On Friday, for example, he's announced that all bars had to be shut down, restaurants slashing their capacity from 75 percent to 50 percent, public gatherings of 100 people are more restricted. But even though medical officials say that doesn't go far enough and they criticize the fact that there's no statewide mandate, for example, to wear masks, Bar owners are now pushing back. They sued the governor yesterday and Texas alcohol regulators saying it's unconstitutional to shut them down because other businesses, for example, gyms, remain open. So there's a lot of political football in all of this, all as cases continue to rise and people continue to get sick here. John? One more question for you, if I could, Lucy. Uh, Texas, of course, a state known for its independent personality. Uh, how are people taking to the shutting down and pressure by many uh, of their leaders to wear masks and uh, to social distance even more than they have been? I mean, you do see folks on the street wearing masks and a lot of businesses. The requirement is that you have to wear one. Otherwise, the business gets fined. So folks are in, in, enforcing that. But, you know, unfortunately, as with so many things in the United States today, you see a polit polit pol politicization, pardon me, of this issue. It is uh, it has been stated over and over again by public health officials, including uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci uh, in testifying before Congress today that wearing masks does help spread contain the spread of the disease. We heard the Houston mayor yesterday say, look, if folks just got tested, if they wore the masks, we could potentially see the numbers go down over the next few weeks. But for a lot of people here, it's a political issue. They feel like it's infringing on their First Amendment rights or their freedom of speech rights. And so you don't necessarily see everyone wearing masks. And again, there's no statewide mandate. And so it's very difficult for these local authorities to enforce that without the governor putting something more official in place, John. Lucy, thanks for your reporting. Much appreciated. CNN's Lucy Kafanoff in Houston, Texas.